mail this show's sponsors and tell them, quote, they are inextricably linked to the threatening calls, racist taunts, and dangerous behavior of Beck's devotees. Really? Look at this. Glenn Beck, this is SCIU Glenn Beck and Republican violence. Tell Glenn Beck's advertisers to stop spreading hate. Where is this really aimed at you? Because they're accusing you of being mindless zombies, a mob of zombie people following all my magical, inaudible, hidden signals to racistly threaten any public official who just walks by. And I'm the conspiracy theorist, Andy. That's weird, huh? They say I'm riling up Americans by vilifying people, while at the same time they vilify me by calling me a dangerous person. They promise to change from the politics of the past. Is this it? Was there change just a higher percentage of attacks delivered over the internet instead of, you know, in newspapers that nobody reads? Or are we supposed to believe, try this out, are we actually supposed to believe that the President of the United States is completely unaware. This guy is the number one visitor. This is his number one spiritual advisor and political advisor. He's advising him on politics and religion, according to the New York Times. And, of course, the green jobs are. This guy's in the White House more than anybody else. Are we supposed to believe that the president is unaware of all three of these extremely coincidental and completely fraudulent grassroots protests even though he's meeting with these people, they're heading up big projects for him over and over and over and over again. He's talking to these people. We're supposed to believe that he isn't a... And I'm the dangerous one. Wow. I'm not dangerous. They don't think I'm dangerous. They think you're dangerous. They think you are dangerous not with a gun, but to their jobs. That's why they have to paint you like that. They think that you're dangerous to their power, to their money, to all of their plans for the new direction of this country, the fundamental transformation of America. You are a danger to them, not with guns. And they want to teach you a lesson. And here's the lesson they're going to try to teach you. If the guy on TV can't weather the storm, there's no way you're going to be able to. <laughs> oh, yeah. They want you to be convinced that you can't make a difference. Why do you